Have you guys seen the new radios? That we no, I did. I saw, I saw Jeff's the other day. Did you? Mm -hmm. They're a little bit more like heat. I like them, and their antennas are low. So. How about coverage? Is it really good? You know, um, I picked up some static the other day. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I picked some static up the other day on it, which I was kind of surprised. I'll give you two for you. Nope. Sounds pretty good. Okay. Okay. Now here is just for July. So you picked up, picked up static from the California fires or what? Well, I don't know. I think I, I was sitting here and I had static and I thought, oh, what was good? We had the hill click, mic click, and I went, oh, it better not be replaced with static. But it only happened to me a couple of times. So um, they were talking about over when we were coming back from Wichita, we were picking up Stafford County run and it was really static. So I um, mean, it was in the medic unit. So I think they were going to do that as well. But. Um, other than that, they seem to be working really well. They have the squelch, huh? They do. They have the squelch, this button up on the top. We can actually communicate with Stafford County Hospital. Um, we're by radio, so we call them on cell phones now, so, which is nice. So, you know, people in scanner land listening, every, I mean, they can't hear it. Maybe yeah. they're mad, so. <laughs> or if they do, all they hear is really static and stuff. So. Okay, um, so for July, we had 17 runs. Uh, the ones that are still pending out there, VA is a pain, <clears throat> which, you know, it could take 30 to 90 days to actually pay it, but they usually do come back and pay it at 100%. Uh, I got a couple of Medicare hanging out there, and the rest are self pay. pretty well. And uh, we brought in Um, and now, this is the ICD-10 codes. I think Doris might have told you guys about this. Actually, these are the nines. These are the nines that I've been using to code for many, many years. <clears throat> this is the 10 oh, that just came in. <laughs> so, um, but basically what it does is, the gist that I'm getting here, um, it goes from one code, like for left ankle foot, or for an ankle foot, whatever, it's a blanket code. That's what the nines are. The tens are now, Okay, so this is the fracture, and now you go into a deeper. This leads to another code that says, is it left or is it right, or is it transverse, or what is it? And after that, then there's another code that says, what, how did it happen? Was it an accident? Was it auto? Was it what? So you have actually three different codes that you're going to get before you get the right one. So it's just a one code leads to another code leads to another code, and then you have your new code. So um, anyway, I've got a couple of trainings going on. Um, I've been on the online ones that Doris has been on. And I also have one coming up for Medicare on the 27th and then one in Great Bend, you know, personal one in Great Bend. Uh, so I'm trying to get everything in line before October 1st because that's when that's all this starts. is going to start. Yeah. So keep a, a close eye on it. I think we'll be fine. Um, it just seems like it's going to take a little bit longer to, to find a code. but. Um, sometimes I'm used to coding in five minutes, it's going to take me now 10, you know, or 15, but it, it'll we'll get it done. <laughs> it just seems like it's, and it's all hospital based pretty much. Um, it's rolling down from hospitals because they want more detailed codes, is all that it pretty much boils down to. So, but I just want to show you guys the big book because I got it the other day and went, oh my gosh. Um, and then just to let you know, we do have some new personnel coming on. Um, kind of exciting news actually, we have some Stafford Hospital nurses that are wanting to ride in the back of the medic unit, and we now have protocols in play for them to do that. So we have two that are joining us. Um, one of them is gonna be for a transfer call basis during the day. If she's off work, she will take a transfer for us, which will actually allow us to leave um, some medic crews back, which would be nice. So there's that, and then there's another one that's gonna be running in Stafford that has just quit Stafford Hospital. She went full-time for the school as a school nurse, and she's gonna be working nights and weekends. So that's gonna give us another medic over there. Um, we did have one EMT pass so far, everything. Uh, well, she's looking to test her written in the next week or two. But then we have two more that are testing in Hayes next month. So they'll all be for staff as well. So we're building, we're building, so that's good news. Um, and the nurses were gonna pay like eight EMTs, $12 an hour, just as they're out for every hour. So, what you like? Good. Good. Dr. Farmer is ecstatic when we called him. He, I go, and they're really good nurses. They're really personal with everybody. And I was ecstatic to get them. And 
He said, oh yeah, definitely bring them aboard. So I thought I'd make sure you guys knew. <laughs> we have some verses in the back, but. Okay. Anything for me? Everything running. Yes, everything is running. Believe it or not. Not going to go out of wood. Back on wood. No tires. What you said? Oh, we have a deal about tires. Oh, I know. <laughs> the last time I brought it up, you were like, "Oh," but it was in a big <laughs> meeting, and there's like time. So, yeah, that's all. I so, have. unit three, two. What is it? With that. The one that's problems. always going to get problems. The what? Oh, Medic 2. <laughs> 2. Medic 2, yeah. We're hoping to baby it for another year. Um, you know, get us through this next year and then uh, look and see what we do there. But, um, yeah, we keep saying he's running the miles up, running the miles up. I said, yes, yes we are. And it seems to be running pretty well. Um, yeah, for right now. So Jerry will kill me because I just said that. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll, it'll be good. So I'll let you definitely know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. Under mine? Yeah. Oh, Philip. Perfect timing, Philip. Yeah. I make a motion to approve the minutes of August 12, 2015. Second. Motion to send the minutes of August 12, 2015. Aye. Aye. Resolution number 2015-10 and resolution number 2015-11. Second. 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 Second.
I second that motion. Motion and second to pass resolution 2015-10 and 2015-11. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Too late. That's what we're trying to get caught up on mowing, but we're not really doing very good with it. Most of the backstops we did yet. Okay. So um, we didn't get all of them up in the northeast, but most of them were good. So we're going to do that. We're going to do our ceiling, and then we're probably going to move to the township right away. It should take us three or four days, and we're going to jump back on the road. Yeah. But a lot of the pigweeds we got. Lots of, lots of pig trees we got yeah. in the uh, tree. <laughs> <laughs> Got whacked off if they didn't buy great to one day. Because they're big. Did you see the landowner um, 281 mowed it off right away? So the state made that state deal with a lot better. Oh, yeah. They're, 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 they're trying to do some of the trees. They're yeah. getting big. Some it's of them are big. Yeah. Yeah. They look nice. Yeah. They're, it's, uh, they're uh, nice. Uh, I mean, that just changed the process of that highway like the crazy. That was where they were the worst. That was, that was nice of them to do that. It's right at the end of that shoulder belt. Those trees continue out in the right of way, right up to the highway. That would have been a great place to smack a deer. You know, deer are so loud and right down over now for the middle of the day. Well, at least they have a little gap there now that you could actually see one before they hit you on the highway. That looks. I couldn't believe how much that helped. Oh, that's the really where it looks nice. So that was the worst part of it. There's others that are trees are coming back. Is that much here? Well, yeah, we've got fifty thousand back. That's not that whole building because then we still got a little bit of engineering stuff. That that was just the plot part. Now do we invoice the state? We're in the process of doing it. We did, we did invoice uh, the elevator and they paid $5. We did some federal, some of the federal funds mm -hmm. brought in to the total state, basically pay it out every year, you know, leave it up there with them. <laughs> no. which, which I think is probably a real good idea, so we may end up just making that in our our special or improvement fund and then just leaving it there until we find a project we want, you know, to we like to do with the state of the condo. They just want to make sure we did when they did that, they just want to make sure we did it wasn't supplementing. You, you did a project with it, you wouldn't be right. supplementing the right. budget, which everybody, was, everybody no. kinda of understands yeah. and it makes sense. I mean, there wasn't any restrictions on that one nineteen when they Oh, on 219, when, 219. We, when, when we got it, no. Yeah. That's ours. That's ours. Oh, well, we got to maintain it, though. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it's ours to maintain now. But, the base is but there's no, there was no restrictions on it? No. No, there were no restrictions on it. They didn't strike and pay orders, so we don't need it. So we have lots of things to do. Just a couple minutes, yeah. Um, probably I'm going to have to do something with the regulars. So we're going to have to update our ratings before we're going to That's probably going to us about $10,000. You want to go ahead and just stay with Mike when we do that? Or, well, that's what my thinking is. I mean, Mike's, he's always done all this. I mean, he's always you know, Why did they mess it up? Because it lowered it. We, we had, they lowered our, in, our antenna got to put, put down. And put them back up? Well, they've got the other one at the top, and there's got to be so much difference between the two. Can you piggyback off their antenna once you yeah, switch once, radios? Yeah, once we switch radios out, we'll be up at the top, and it should help with our coverage. But I just don't feel comfortable in the winter with the way that coverage is. I mean, yeah, it's going to run us $10,000 for radios, but I don't feel comfortable with that, that coverage. is just so like somebody get hurt. Well, they all need updated. I mean, some of ours, they are, there's some trade and value with them, so at least we can hopefully some of that. Um, 
Okay. Well, we ought to have all the departments covered now. In the radios. <laughs> radios and tires. As soon as it gets it. Well, Jeff said he doesn't like sense. Is our cell coverage better up on 19? Oh, it's submissive better. You can get, you know, you can talk to anyone from here now. And we could not do that before. Did that improve immediately, or did they? It took them a while to get the tower <laughs> online. But yeah, you, knew, you, knew, you knew immediately when that tower went online if you did. It, it was slightly better, but I think it's right improved. It's oh, no, it's improved. It's improved. I, I could not drive a mile east of yeah. Joe's and get, I mean, if I had a call, I'd be dropped in. So if I started right at the county line, there's a little deal that will drop once in a while. But no, I'm going north on 2 I think it even oh, helped okay. on Highway 50. I, I can use my phone all the way to Hutch. That was terrible. It was so yeah. mm -hmm. And I don't know what. Well, see, Stafford, Stafford's got one over there on there. They've got, I don't know if it's a booster or something, but they actually have a Verizon antenna on their, on their uh, water tower sometimes. Well, so, something's changed, and I don't know what it would be over in that area, but it was a lot, it's a lot better water. Well, I've been noticing a lot of towers like the one they put up there in Hudson, the one that they put in by the your place. Mine's they, not in service. Well, no, but they all look the same. Oh, yeah, there are yeah, three legs so towers. Aren't they supposed to go I think so, but I think they've, they've, put, they've put these up for a while, all over the place. Oh, I'm sure. they got a whole list in Kansas. And, yeah. But then they're not in any hurry to get in service. That, that's what got torched me on. I say they them. got to run some line out there to that one, don't they? Yeah, I called them and they said they have a year to get that in service after they get the tower. Uh, so does it have a line on top? Mm -hmm. It then, it's got it's, it's, just short a it's got a short antenna of some sort of there. He says we are done with the tower as I called him yesterday and he says the rest of it. and it there's not gonna be any lights on it. Because it's hundred and ninety five feet and two hundred feet. Two hundred feet so it's cut off. Yeah. There should be no big line that would be Well that was at the crop dusters well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd be the only person it should be. I don't know. You're not going to get it? No. Fly over the creek one of these days. Yeah. And, <laughs> as I had, as they told me initially, there was going to be a beacon light up on top of that. I called and said, no, that's why we're building 195 feet. There doesn't have to be a beacon light. And then there's a four foot antenna. And she said, it's 199 feet <laughs> to the top of it. Yeah, we get an earthquake way there. Right. Well, that one up, that one up. We'll send Philip our compliance yeah. officer. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I'll, I'll look at it. What's, what's interesting yeah. is when I put my wind turbine up, they told me that it was a little bit of a At least I have a special card. Which is our thing. Oh, boy. You can climb up there and the end of the tape measure. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I guess we'll find something to do. Please measure it. Pictometry will measure it. Have to fly it again. But I, uh, I'm glad they put that one up there by Corvera. Oh, yeah. That's because that, is, that was a safety factor. Oh, well, sure it is when people, there's a lot more traffic up to there than people realize. I mean, because he, and it, the trouble of it is, it is a lot of it is out of state, now out of county. Until you get, I mean, you don't see it so much on the, the, the blacktop as you do as when you get to drive it. There's a lot more traffic getting through there than through there. I saw a bus in there one day. Mm -hmm. In the springtime, you'll see buses coming in there, people coming in on field trips and whatnot. Because they have a deal out of some bird from Argentina or something. But anyway, it was out there for a couple of weeks and they had people from seven different states coming in. To look at a bird. <laughs> it was like that one a couple of years ago, that kid saw one up at Quivira and Barry said between the 1st and the 5th of July, uh, how many people came in from as far away as Iowa to 
take that bird's picture and get a check mark on the list. Yeah, there's a, it's a, it's a, there's a whole world of them. <laughs> <laughs> because Even with feathers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're good. All right. I'm good. I'll get you copies of those. Oh, okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Good morning. 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 How's everybody this morning? Hoping for rain? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. More. More rain. Yeah. It's teasing. I'll tell you, it sprinkles and you use the windshield wiper. Yes. But, you know, so. Looks like it's coming a little bit. I just looked at that. We need it. Yeah. We definitely do. I'm here today to quote an honest your group health plan the uh, year before last. And I'm here to see if we can have the opportunity to do that again for 2016. Get the information and at the market and see what it's doing and of course uh, health care reform which is a nasty word <laughs> um, and all the, the compliance and everything with that that we would like to be able to have the opportunity to, to get the information we needed to put a proposal together again if we can. Fine, okay. What we can do is request I can send Nita an email on what we need um, and to try and get the information it just takes a couple of weeks to put everything Yeah, 
that there's a lot of components out there that you have to follow. And come 2016, with all the ACA reporting, um, you know, you're, you're going to have to have, uh, it's almost like a certificate of coverage that you had before, reporting that each individual will have to have something when they do their taxes to show that they have coverage, because they're really going to be more strict on the penalty if you didn't have coverage. So now employers have to provide something to the employees so that they've had coverage from this time to that time, which we do in our office and helping you know our groups with the, the reporting that needs to be done. But there's a lot on the the employer now on reporting. I got some groups say they almost you know have to hire somebody <laughs> just to do all the reporting. But there's a lot involved. But that's what we assist in and helping with our group. So we'll get everything put together and call me out, send you an email on what we need. If you're self-employed, what do you put on there? Taxes to present the insurance. There's a question on there. I'm used to it. Um, you know, do you have health coverage? And it was a kind of an honor system, yes or no. <laughs> so going forward, it. they're going to provide. You're going to have to provide proof. Um, you know, something from your insurance company stating or a bank statement showing that you've had coverage, <clears throat> um, and you have to have it at least nine months in a 12-month period, not to be penalized. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's tax, crazy. Tax accountants that make more money. There you yeah. go. There yeah. you go. It is. It's a vicious circle. So, all right. <coughs> I'll be together with you. And we'll get some Very stuff good. put together and we'll schedule time to come back down. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Or recess. Okay, just wanted to say how you guys felt about neighborhood revitalization. I kind of know where you're at, but I want to make sure. Uh, the program does run out December 30th, uh, 1st, 2015. So if we want to do an interlocal agreement again and do another four or five years, uh, I probably need to start getting started on that. How about we discuss this? Yeah. Did we? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I approved it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Well, I think so. Okay. Well, we You're not going to make any changes, are you? Well, um, the only thing we talked, we might have talked about then, is we talked about taking the fee from $25 to $50 to help with our mm -hmm. cost. Yeah, okay, sorry about that. No, no problem. I'll just okay. get I guess it was important to me if I left one there. That's easy. <clears throat> I didn't know where the pay is. That's off. Yeah, that's it's, we're good. Okay. It's 9:31. Okay. By the official county clock. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is your copy of the resolution that uh, that the zoning commission had, and they sent this to you guys. This is on the Class B private club for the event center in the Angle District. And the legal description on the address is 173 Southwest 140th Avenue at Maxwell, Kansas. Uh, probably the main thing you might want to look at is they did ask, they did put in four uh, conditions on this specific one. They voted on this with this here resolution. Uh, I guess we're going to vote. Um, seven to zero from the zoning commission. It, went, it was a, I'm not mistaken, it was at a two hour meeting. Um, the zoning commission went into a closed session, I think twice, uh, discussed some things. Uh, uh, good public, good. good could be, uh, and then this is the conditions as it came out. So what we do from here is if uh, if you guys want to approve it, I mean you, you do have the right to, you can approve it, you can deny it, and you can send it back to them. The zone information, those three things. If you if you uh, sign the resolution today, then uh, like we've done in the past, Nita actually puts this in the staff courier then the resolution, and then. 
What's number three in here that the Farmington Township does not confer any special right of ingress or degress? What they what they had is there won't be any more cuts put in. There won't be a. Uh, uh, what they were concerned about is maintaining, let's just say they maintain their 60 rooms and say they, they uh, grade them once a month. Uh, this special facility uh, that leaves the township uh, the right not to have to go grade it six or eight times a month. Yeah. <laughs> that's what the, they, that's they what, up, they'll go grade That's what they was worried about. Yeah. I did, I did. <coughs> Since we have zoning and appraisers office in the same in the same department, I did give an estimate of what the township would actually gain in revenue in the next year and then in the next two years. Uh, that these people actually will be paying in excess of about in two year period, um, the township would get in excess of about a thousand dollars if they build what they say they're going to build. Just the township. So, I mean, I think that goes both ways. <coughs> and uh, they have to break the room this morning and if they tear them up, they'll break the room. The townships don't like to put in extra cuts as well. Mm -hmm. so they're very, not very, real. very expensive. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, they wouldn't be required to. Uh, there'll be more maintenance. So what happens if they change their club status in what regard from a class A to class B class, different classes it would be a it would be a class B uh, I, I think this requirements will still apply whatever classification it is so their license would change well I'm just saying if if <clears throat> let's say in the future that we did become the wet county. Okay. And they changed to just a regular out, uh, liquor license. Uh -huh. I mean, it shouldn't change that. They shouldn't change the requirements. I think there. what that would change is they would have to. So well, they could there's have two different to, licenses then. Well, they, be, they could be open to the public. Well, well, they can't be. But one of them says. Um, it's the events first, only. Events center oh, okay. only okay. is the first one. Well, I, I'll say that's, so, a, that's a pretty strong. That was limitation. Yeah. Well, yeah, but, but they're, they're willing that's why to that was put in there. The board wanted that too, so that's why okay. that, that was it. And, and that's not a problem because they, they have no desire. Well, I, I know, yes. but I don't want to. I don't want to change wanted. this and then they sell the property and then this transfers mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. That's where their house is. Okay. 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 Yeah. You're right. Good question. And this is considered commercial. Yes. Yeah. And once it's commercial, but the, not the whole property would be commercial. That's correct. Yeah. And that's why, that, and that's how I recalculated on the estimated of taxes then and so forth. And even if they build the new facility, uh, even with deducting for the neighborhood revitalization. So, uh, in this particular case, I, I did a calculation kind of for the county and school because the townships, remember, we don't want them to participate in NRP. So it doesn't matter if they file neighborhood revitalization, the township gets all the revenue. But the reason we did that is because of the roads, is because of the, the, the large, their, their small value uh, that, that we didn't want them to use. Uh, a good question. I'll just saw uh, the top of the page, I didn't think about it too. Yeah, talking about that. I'll go ahead and make the motion on the adopt resolution 2015-12. Second. Motion second and adopt resolution 2015-12. All in favor say aye. 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 I think I'll get a copy of it. Okay. And then I'll get a copy, then I'll send a copy to the Welchers and probably to Rod and John and Just one time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.
Okay. That's right. <clears throat> we were talking about egress and regress. Is there a egress, egress, egress. ingress, whatever it is? <laughs> regress. A, a culvert. <laughs> Good kind of digress. I digress. Uh, <laughs> was it every quarter of a mile? You uh, have access to it? Yeah. It bas basically, uh, you township's pretty much obligated to give one cut per quarter section. Yeah. So that's every half mile. Yeah. They can do more. They just probably need to do more. Yeah. Right. Again, it, it's it's up to the individual township board how generous they want to be with their limited resources. Uh, typically, what happens when somebody puts in a little subdivision, say off by Lake Canopolis, is the county of Ellsworth, uh, it's off a county road, we, we give them you know, one cut and then they have to run a frontage road. And most of the townships, and the Empire Township, that's pretty much their policy as well. Um, and then you have situations like the Mr. Salavedra where you sell off your cut to your ex-wife, that's what the deed says, for $10, another valuable consideration. I'm going to say, uh, that's your problem. You didn't reserve a right of uh, access. And he's like, I was just reading that deed that uh, the land was nice enough to give me to. So, gee, uh, you know, it's not the function of government to rescue people from their own folly. If you kind of landlock yourself, yeah. That's your problem. That's all I have. If I bring up an inquiry in violation to you next, oh, 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 would you give me some help? What did you say? What, what did you say? Yeah. We can talk about yeah. it if you want to. Well, just well, Carl, over. just make sure they don't pull a Wilson and forever freeze well, their tax base. No, just, just <laughs> what did you say here, Carl? It's in the minute. <laughs> neighborhood revitalization is if you basically make two hundred dollars worth of improvement to your property your values are frozen. So oh, wow. Yeah, I'll do that. It was just bizarre. Carl was trying to explain to him, you don't want to do that. And I'm sitting there going, You're gonna do it anyway, Carl, trust me. Yeah. That's Wilson. Wow. Wilson, Kansas is 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 one of those towns that you, you We'd love to do a swap with another county. Yeah. Is there a motel in Wilson? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I think it's open again. It kind of it, it changes hands on a fairly regular basis. Well, that was a taxpayer boondoggle where KDOT came up with money for somebody to rehab this old structure. This was going back in the 1990s. And uh, I was going to say the early 1990s. Because uh, I think when it opened and they had the restaurant opened there, I think I took my yeah. youngest daughter there and she was in kindergarten at the time. So that's okay. Now she's a senior in college. Yeah, so that's how we go. I have to stay there. But uh, no, the KDOT money was basically wasted because yeah. in terms of transients, you know, the interstate stopping and staying there, the answer is no. It's been well documented people traveling. They want a line of sight from the road they're on to where they're going to stay. So it's probably been closed more than it's been open over its life. I think it's open on weekends. Somebody asked dinner. me the other day if that was still there or not, even though. Anything else? No. Hold, Jerry.